What's going on, everybody? It's your boy M. I Sizzle back in the building with yet another YouTube video. And today, in our quick learning a character series, we're going to be looking at Lars. Uh, this is going to help us to get good with the character in a short period of time, just using some basic uh, instruments that the character has in preparation for Tekken 8 because we know he is going to be a character that's on the game. So today we're going to take our chances and look and see if we can somehow put together a game plan using the same systematic system that we've been using for all of the rest of the characters and see how well it applies here. So first thing we're going to do is check for the jab, right? We want to make sure that our character has a plus frame jab. So the one jab is plus frame. So we know what we can do with that. We can use that to uh, get our advantage and apply pressure. Two jab, zero on block. So as stated before many other videos, not all jabs are equal. Okay, so this, although it is zero, it will allow you to move around uh, and be free. So you know you're basically right back in neutral when you use a two jab. Uh, but you would much rather use your one in a situation like this. Uh, just so you can establish advantage and put your opponent on the back foot. All right, the next thing we want to look at is, does this character have all of the generic tools, right? So the first thing we're going to look for is a low jab, which he has in down one. So down one, 10 frame low jab. That's going to be able to put us in a situation where we can be minus one here and go for a low jab and beat out a standing jab. Uh, does he have a down four? that he does a generic right low kick so that's 12 frames so that's good that's going to be useful for high crushing and keeping our opponent from uh, moving in uh, various situations also he has a generic down back three which is good for switching up switching up against these uh, kicks because it changes the parry timing plus this hits in areas where this won't. It beats different options. So it's good to know that he's well suited with at least the basic generic moves. The next thing we're going to be looking at is his ability to set up offense and or defense. Right. So in doing so, we're going to look to see if he has any mid moves that are, you know, not very negative. Uh, and this is one, two, not very negative. So we're going to do one, two first, which is minus one, which is good. That's good. That allows us the freedom to move around, uh, see what our opponent is going to do, see what kind of reactions that they're going to have. And, you know, build our defense and or offense off of that down four. I mean, off of that uh, one, two. The same thing can apply to his down four one as it is also minus one. And this is an even better tool because they can't duck it and, you know, wild rise and launch you. So they will have to make it whiff by some other means or they will have to interrupt you. Uh, and they won't be able to interrupt you with many big things, but you are susceptible to like magic fours and fast counter hitting highs. So that's something we have to really take into consideration. He also has down two, which on block is zero, but it puts the opponent in crouch and typically a fastest while rising move for most characters is going to be 11 frames so since you're at zero and you're standing your standing jab will beat out anything that they do so this is almost like having frame advantage almost right but not quite frame advantage because if you both go for the low jab you both will trade so you don't have a real frame advantage but it does have a uh this puts you in a situation where, you know, you can move around very freely. All right. So the next thing we're going to look at is what are good mids with this character, right? What are some good mid pokes? Well, one thing about Lars is he's very negative on a lot of his tools, right? So we had to choose what were our best options. He is very much a character who is all in. Uh, whenever you block him, he's super negative. Uh, so we found some of the better tools. Like we have a tool like down back 2-1. Right? This is a safe maneuver. It's guaranteed to hit string. Uh, 15 frames. It does about 20 damage. And it's minus 8 on block. 
All right, mid, mid. Then we got down forward two, which is useful because it ducks underneath highs, right? It has an extension. The extension is minus 14. That's down forward two, one. Uh, but it will natural hit combo. And I believe it leads into a launcher. So that's good to know. Uh, at 16 frames, that's pretty good. Uh, but we would like to use it in our pokes to avoid high moves. Right? Jabs if they want to jab us back. All right, another thing that we have in our arsenal is back one. Right? It's a homing move. Uh, it's 15 frames. Only issue is it's minus nine on block. Right? But it is plus four on hit, so that's pretty good. And it's mid and homing, so they can't get around it. So it's actually a fairly good tool. Uh, and it knocks down on counter hit, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a tool we can kind of use to keep people in, at bay and keep them in front of us, you know, keeping them from stepping us. The next thing we want to look at is our low game, right? So when we look at our low game, uh, one of his better lows, down back four, right? It's plus five on hit, does about 19 damage. Uh, problem is, it's minus 26 on block. But this move will go under some mids, definitely high crushes. And on counter hit, it will knock down for a combo. So a fairly good move, has a lot of range. Uh, can use it from way back here uh, for people running in. So it's going to be a pretty good tool. Uh, also, he has down back 1-3, which is negative 1 on hit. But... It's guaranteed string, and if you hold down after the one, I mean after the three, he'll duck down and he'll be plus one, right? And he'll go into this full crouch situation. And then they'll have to deal with your full crouch mix-up, right? They're, they are standing, so, you know, same thing applies. Their jab is going to beat probably any 11-frame move. You're going to trade if you do while standing four in that situation. But he does have full crouch games he's got a little full crouch mix up so if they try to go high he doesn't always have to worry about that he can still institute a mix up uh with that small advantage all right another thing that he has is down one plus two which is a high crush it's 24 frames so it's kind of slow also launch punchable but it will knock down on normal hit so that's really really good for him uh, up close, you know, once again, you know, if somebody's trying to pressure him, he has the ability to get out of a lot of that pressure uh, with some fairly good high crushing loads. All right, another good load that he has is 4-4-4-3, four, 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 right? This is like basically his version of a Hell Sweep. It's plus 8 on hit. Uh, it is launch punishable on block, so minus 31 or something on block so you don't want it to get blocked but if you manage to hit somebody with it uh it definitely can work in your favor at plus eight he definitely doesn't have a lot of opportunities to gain eight frames of advantage on a standing opponent so this is definitely something you want to put into your arsenal uh also he's got four four three plus four which is zero on hit it is launch punishable Right? It's minus 16. But what's good is it covers a lot of distance. And on top of that, it ducks high moves. So you can use this uh, from a good distance. Uh, when we get into the approach section, this is one of the moves you can use in your approach. So that's, uh, that's it for all of the low moves that we're going to really look at uh, that he can use. Now, let's look at his plus frame attacks. Now, this is where he doesn't shine too well, right? He doesn't even have any plus frame attack except for out of this if you hold it. Anything else, he has no standing plus frame attack. Now, he does have some plus frames out of a stance, and he has plus frames from running while running three. Now, that is plus eight. And also, down back two, hold three is plus eight. So if you happen to uh, want to get frame advantage, you're going to have to use what we call mental frame advantage to really get your, your shit, um, to get your game off. Right? Now, with that plus eight, let's look into our next thing, which is going to be the counter hit tool. 
he doesn't really have a lot of good counter hit tools probably because he does not have a lot of frame advantage but when he does gain frame advantage he has things like back four which if they're plus if you're plus eight this is a 15 frame move on counter hit it does a ch good chunk of damage does a hit throw animation uh it's safe so even if you mi miss it it's minus eight so you can't really move afterwards but he definitely gets a free attempt at trying to kill somebody if they are behind those frames uh, he also has down four three three which is a 15 frame move sorry 16 frame move it is counter hit knockdown guaranteed on counter hit but minus 15 on block so it does put you a good distance away uh, not every character has got a 15 frame move that will reach back there and touch them so you can say it's safe on somebody on a few characters um, but not everybody some people will be able to punish that so you got to be weary about who you're doing that on if you're looking for that counter hit um, and you know you have to think to yourself that payoff is even worth it now another thing that he does have is a what we call a G clef cannon or a 111 right? this is a knockdown high mid mid all guaranteed if the first hit is counter hit but it is not delayable right so you have to be all in in order to get it uh, where it is useful if you use down two we talked about before if they try to do a wild standing move you got one 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 to slap them back to the ground so that's always going to be pretty good working in your advantage um, but that's really all he really has for counter hit tools he does have his down back four but nothing really gives him enough frame advantage to where this is going to be a viable um, tool you know even at plus eight you know a 13 frame mid is going to trade with you uh, which I mean could be useful uh, but you know they could also just do a little 12 frame low and kick you right out of that no problem right or 12 frame mid and just beat you out uh, so it's not the best tool for counter hitting behind frames uh, more so for counter hitting people's uh, incoming attacks now that we got the person scared because we're counter hitting them what exactly does he have as a big mix up well this is where he shines is he has a built-in forward three mix up where he has one well one two sorry one two which is a high high guaranteed knockdown uh, comes out 11 frames out of the stance right and only minus one so you can use this to poke around and then see what they like to do uh, unfortunately you cannot delay the second hit so you have to be all in with this high high uh, unfortunately if you want to reap the biggest benefits he's got the two which is safe it's minus seven uh, he's got the three which gives plus six frame advantage which we can go back to using this right here so that into this very good very good uh, use of the move uh, one of the few times that he ever has frame advantage uh, like I said then you have the four which is the low hell sweep which gives you plus eight again but leaves a lot of distance in between you so really the only thing you probably could get off of that might be that down four three mix up um, but they're minus eight so you know you got a lot that you could possibly go for there uh, that's really it then he has a stance into you know another stance so forward into down forward or forward into forward again and he goes into another stance where he has a low a mid uh, a armor high and then he's got a launching mid so he's got a lot of mix-ups but he definitely has to use mental frame advantage to keep you staying still long enough for any of this stuff to work All right that's kind of his whole stick that's his whole stick is just trying to make you stay still by using fake frames because he doesn't really hardly ever have any advantage to do anything uh, as we've learned or as I've learned going through some of his moves all right so now when you're trying to approach an opponent uh, one of the things you can use uh, we talked about earlier is forward forward both kicks 
it reaches from far out. It doesn't do anything on counter hit. In fact, even on counter hit, it is still only zero frames on block. So I'm being on hit. So it's just a good tool to just get in and do some little pokey damage. Um, also, it's got four four both punches, which on counter hit is a combo starter. Uh, it is only minus it's minus nine, but it's got a little pushback, so you know you won't really get getting checked by anything right there. Uh, they'll have to really go out their way to try to check something. Um, other moves that he has is in the approach. He's got four four two which is 21 frames. Uh, this is unsafe though, so if you're running in with this, you know, you're really just, you're trying it, basically. You, you're really just trying your luck and seeing what you can get from it. Uh, and of course, if you know they're gonna be blocking, you can always do the running three, four, 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 three, get that plus eight, uh, be in their face, and then go for a good mix up. So those are things you would use on your approach when trying to play with this character. Uh, let's look now at his Oki. All right, so we're gonna take him off stand up. All right. Grab him. All right, as far as Oki goes, most of his lows will hit on the ground. Down back four, he's got down three, which hits on the ground. Down back one will hit on the ground. You know, the uh, four, four, both kicks hits on the ground. Uh, in fact, Pretty much, you know, even his down back three will hit on the ground. Like, for the most part, anything that he has low besides four, 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 three, just about, all of that jump will hit on the ground from standing. Um, now, the problem is, he's got only this move to hit that's mid that I've been able to find thus far, right? So. You have to go into the stance to do this, but it will flip the opponent over. And once you flip them over once, like you have enough time to consistently continue to flip them over uh, and they have to tech it. And then if they tech it, you know, you can just institute a new mix up on them if you feel like they're going to tech roll. So that's pretty much how he rolls in the Oki department. Now, as far as throws, he does have just a one throw and a two throw, but he does have up for both punches, which is a both punches throw, both punches break. Then he has a shining wizard, which is four 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 two four, uh, kind of like king. Uh, and this will also turn into an air grab if the opponent is in the air, uh, and it not grabs him, knocks him pretty far away. But then also out of this stance, if you do stance two three, he will also do the shining wizard grab. So. That's uh, that's all he's really got for grabs, uh, and most of his grabs not really the best. Um, but you know he he's got a bow punch grab. He does have some command grabs that you can try to use on your opponent, so you can kind of mix up between the regular throws and the uh, command throw. And maybe if they're not good at breaking throws, they might fall for it every once in a while. Now let's look at his punishers. For his punishers at 10 frames, uh, he has, he's got one, two, which is all right at 16 damage and it's plus seven, but you have a better chance at doing two, one for the 20 damage and a plus six, you know, uh, at 15 frames, that makes this where they can't sidestep or duck you right here. So, you know, this into this, really only thing they could do is back up, right? So that's gonna be pretty good pretty good situation there they have to kind of eat that um, so that's a pretty bad situation for them because then you can start doing things like 2-1 into this and uh, you know 2-1 into that thing this right here and stay in the advantage again and then this is how you really start steamrolling with a character like Lars uh, whereas the 1-2 also does give you enough frame advantage to do something like that but you know, you don't have the damage. And I would just sacrifice the frame, the one frame of advantage for that extra damage uh, because it's substantially more in the in the scheme of 10 frame punishment. All right, at 12 frames, he's got four, two, four, which is a knockdown, 32 damage. Um, he also has 
forward 2-1, which goes into the stance at plus six. And because he's at plus six, that makes it where if he goes into this stance, uh, I've got you. you do forward. Is it forward, two, one, forward? That right there becomes uninterruptible. So that's pretty good. All right? They have to block that. They don't have enough frames to attack you out of that. All right? So that's that's a pretty good um, pretty good way to punish it. You can go right into the mix up. And that's kind of his whole game plan, right? You want to either get damage or you want to set up for mix ups. That's that's his strengths. You know, he doesn't really have a lot of frame advantage, so he has to make advantage through hitting your opponent or tricking your opponent into believing that they can't swing back. Um, now, when we get to his 14 frame, because he doesn't have a 13 frame punisher, this is where he starts to really excel, right? He's got forward back 2-1, right? Right into a combo. So a 14 frame launcher, very rare on this game. Uh, when somebody does have it, it's often always uh, pretty good and his is mid normally they're they're high so you know this is actually uh, a really good tool you execute with that uh, it, it really changes the game a lot once somebody gets this in their in their wheelhouse and they're doing it all the time definitely a good good look for your boy uh, the one and only Lars all right and then let's see what else he's got for 15 frames he's got four both punches and then he's got up forward three at 16 frames. So those are all of his good whiff punishers. Uh, also, he's got up forward four, but, you know, that's a little bit more difficult to whiff punish with, but you can use it. Now, I mean, those are his regular punishers. His up forward four is a good whiff punisher, and that's what we're going to talk about now is whiff punishment. All right, if you want to whiff punish, you can use that move. You could do forward, forward, two, which we talked about earlier. Forward, forward, one plus two, which is a 16 frame move. You do have back forward, two, one. Um, excellent with Punisher. Uh, down forward, two, one. Natural hit combo starter at 15, 16 frames, right? Mid high. No, it's mid, mid on this game. Um, then. You also have um, your four, one plus two, arc blast, and of course, up four, three. So with all this information that we have gained, what we're about to do is we're going to take our chances and go online and see what we can do with a couple of matches and see how well we can put all this stuff in the pot and make something good to eat. All right. All right. So we're going to try our first match here online see what's going on with it got somebody from europe with the wi-fi so this might be a problem but we're going to try to institute what we learned already all right as a law player so i'm imagining they probably going to be mashing on them buttons but we're going to find out oh lord we're doing them lows on me All right, all right. He definitely swinging. All right, got a whiff punish on. Uh-huh. Oh, could have finished that whiff punish. I mean, could have finished that uh, punish off while standing two. Oh, four, four punches. Oh. All right, we ain't got no combo. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, okay. Oh, got his ass. We're punished. All right, so we already setting his ass straight. See, he want to swing, but he don't what he don't know what to do with the swinging. Oh. 
All right, we use that mix up off the frame advantage. Got him. Got his ass. All right, all right. First match. We did everything we needed to do there, okay? We whiff punish when we need to whiff punish. We punished when we need to punish. We put the punish into the mix up on them. I think we did pretty good there, all right? If we had to take this character into a tournament against this player, would we end up being um, coming out victorious? Would our game plan be sufficient? All right. Nice. All right. So he's looking for combo. Oh, good stuff. Oh, he's going to swing. Yeah, we made him stay still for a little bit. We noticed that he was swinging out of advantage. So we just kept trying. We just realized, okay. He gonna swing. All right, messed up our combo. Hmm. Got him. Alright, alright. This is no problem right here. You see what's happening, right? We keep we keeping our, our distance from him. He gonna do the jump shit. Yeah. Ah. 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 Oh, I tried to do some Oki game on him. Ah. Oh, that was good. Oh, he caught us with that weak ass look. All right, so now he's trying to low us out. All right, so we can't allow him to do what he want to do. He want to, he want to get away from all this pressure. Ah, ah, got his ass. Oh, I ain't mean to add that to the favorites. I was, <laughs> my bad, big dog. I ain't mean to do you like that. All right, so. All right, guys, this brings this episode of Quick Learn a Character Lars Edition to a close. Uh, if you did like what you see, make sure you hit the like button. And if you have a request of a character that you would like to see or that you would like to see a quick learn on before Tekken 8, make sure you drop a comment down in the comment section. And as well, hit that sub and hit the notification bell so when I drop the video, you'll know it's coming. And of course, as always, appreciate you coming out. It's been the realm of the real where only the real can chill. Peace.